Keep going. One, two, three, go. And again, one more. And again. Another video for you today. Um, in today's video, we're going to be turning this studio shot we shot on Saturday into like a dramatic sunset themed image. Um, so stick with me with this one. It should only take about 10 minutes or so. And let's get straight into it. So like I said, we're going to take this image from Photoshop and use Lumina 4 to add the elements we need and then we're going to bring it back into Photoshop just to add the last couple of elements as well. Now you could do all this in Lumina 4, but when you add in the extra layers, you've got to keep saving, saving, saving. So I will use that side of it, as you'll see in this demonstration. I'll use Photoshop to add the finishing touches. So we're going to head straight into um the plugin and click on lumina 4 i do apologize if we're going a little bit slow on this we are recording the screen in 4k and we've got a few programs open but in the background as well i do apologize so bear with me it won't take that long like i said we'll get this one done in under 10 minutes again uh this lady we had in she came in with a with a daughter and she came in with some nice dresses and she wanted to get some nice pictures and she'd never been in this studio before, but she looked amazing, Brazilian woman. And yeah, so I thought we'd, we'd have a play with this one. And uh, I've already done the photo once and I showed the results and she was really happy. So, okay, so we're going to go into the creative panel. And we'll go into sky replacement and we're going to select dramatic sky. Let's have a look. Dramatic Sunset 6. We'll try that one. And this is the one we want. And we're going to reposition the horizon on this. I will stop talking in some point while I do concentrate. I do apologize. Okay, so we're going to get this position up. So the good thing about this program is you don't need to be replacing sky to add a sky. As you can see here, we've just got a plain background and we are able to add a sky into the scene, um, which it does pretty well. And it does save a lot of time with the, um, it does save a lot of time. You know, you'd have to mask this lady out to be able to do this in Photoshop, but obviously, uh, Lumina AR, Lumin, Lumina's AI does it all for you, which makes it really great and simple. So we are going to defocus this guy because she wouldn't be in focus and the sky in focus at the same time. Let's just bring that position down just a bit more for this picture. And we'll bring this down as well. It's a, it's a balance of getting this sky right and then we can add the um, the other layers we're going to use into the background as well. So we're going to leave it just about there. Now I did also add some sun rays into this picture. Like I said, we're doing these on really quick edits um, to see the results you can get. So we're going to put the sun round about there. And this is going to... We, we did have a, a light round about this area in the studio. So she has got this sort of sunlight catching her hair on this side so this is going to be ideal for this picture as well we don't want the penetration too much and also we're going to change the sun warmth bring that warmth up just a bit as well okay let me just go back into this one like I said I will at some point just be concentrating and not speaking i do apologize but i will talk you through everything i do as i do it okay let me just check that oh, 
bring the exposure up in this just a bit. And we're just going to give it some atmospheric haze as well. Just everything I'm just doing in just small amounts for now. And then we might go back to it and finish it off. But at the moment, I'm happy with that. So we're going to add the rest of this scene in Photoshop. So as you can see, we're back in Photoshop now. And what I'm going to do is add the other elements that I used for this picture which was some grass scenery for the bottom of the screen just to hide her feet and this area here to make it look as if she was outside so first of all i brought this one in just to hide her feet um, as if she is in tall gla gr gr glass grass 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 and we just made the opacity round about 77 on that one and we will just flatten this one quick and then i added this little layer of grass here as well just to thicken it up now i wasn't happy with the um the butterflies that were included with this free download so what i did was i will just remove these in the final process of the image so there's like two layers of grass we've got and the final one I used was this one. It was more like a larger plant life as if I was shooting low down again and then capturing her just behind. So I will leave them round about there. And just knock the opacity down just a bit on that one as well. And I will click OK. I will flatten that image and then what I did was I came into the color adjustments it wasn't the color adjustments I do apologize it was the tone of the image hue and saturation and then I had a little play in here to adjust the image how I was wanting it apologize once again for not speaking at some places whilst I'm concerned. What I did next was I brought it back into Lumina 4 as you can see here and I wanted to add some vignette to the scene um, just to just around the outside to darken it just a tad by myself that I'd be happy with and then I went into the foliage enhancer again we're on golden hour so we're just gonna get some of those orangey tones into that as well and then I nipped into the, um, excuse me, into the light panel. And what I want to do in here stays open for me is just bring the exposure up just a tad. And then I want to get some more warmth into the picture around about there. Just add a little bit more vignette to that. Just choose a subject so we can bring that vignette up here just a bit more. Too much, they look silly. So, round about there. So, we've got some of these darker shadows on the the grass. Now, the grass is just looking a, just a little bit too fake. So, we will adjust that now as well. Okay, and then I will apply, let it fire back into Photoshop, the uh, offending butterflies that we had down here, which I wasn't happy with. I've also brought the vibrance down just a tad, as I will show you here. Uh, the vibrance was round about there, I think it was. I just wanted to bring it down to round about here. And I am quite happy with a quick, re quick edit and the results we got. And I sent this picture over to the um, the client that booked me and she was over the moon. She couldn't believe that she looked like she was outside. And yeah, anyway, all that aside, I'm just showing you as usual. Quick edits using Lumina 4 and this one was using Photoshop as well. Simple as that. Done in 10 minutes. 
voila, I'm quite happy with the results. Okay, don't forget, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.